Deeper Cinema Analyses Sir Arnie's Treasure, a 1919 masterpiece of Swedish cinema, directed by Moritz Stiller. Sir Arnie's Treasure was adapted from the novella The Treasure, by Selma Lagerlöf, the first woman to win the Nobel Prize in Literature. The film is a haunting tale of love, betrayal, and revenge set against the starkly beautiful backdrop of rural Sweden in the 16th century. With its rich visual imagery, atmospheric cinematography, and compelling narrative, Sir Arnie's Treasure remains a timeless classic that continues to captivate audiences over a century after its release. At the heart of Sir Arnie's Treasure is the tragic story of Sir Arne, a nobleman living in a remote village in Sweden with his family. Their peaceful existence is shattered when a band of ruthless thieves, led by the sinister Sir Archie, murders Sir Arne and his household in cold blood. In the chaos that ensues, only one of Arnie's daughters, a girl called Elsalil, manages to hide herself and survives, and inevitably will be forever traumatized by this tragic event. At its core, Sir Arnie's treasure is a tale of revenge, betrayal, and redemption. The film explores themes of justice, morality, and the consequences of greed and violence. Through its richly drawn characters and gripping narrative, it offers a poignant meditation on the human condition and the complexities of love, loyalty, and honor. Central to the film's narrative is the character of Elsalil, portrayed with remarkable depth and sensitivity by the actress Mary Janssen. As the lone survivor of the massacre, Elsalil finds herself torn between loyalty to her family and a growing attraction to one of her captors, the enigmatic and troubled leader of the bandits, Sir Archie, who himself is tormented by guilt and remorse for his role in the massacre. Mary Janssen's performance is a tour de force of silent film acting, conveying a wide range of emotions with subtlety and nuance from innocence and vulnerability to resilience and determination. It is a performance that vastly proves that real silent acting was far from the histrionics that many people thought was the norm back then. The film was richly cast by the way, with great actors from the Swedish theater and film scenes, like Richard Lund, and Yelmer and Concordia Selander. In addition to its compelling narrative and superb performances, Sir Arnie's treasure is also notable for its technical achievements and innovative filmmaking techniques. One of the most striking aspects of this film is its visual splendor and technical innovation. Directed by Moritz Stiller, a pioneering figure in Swedish cinema, the film showcases his mastery of cinematic language and storytelling. Stiller's use of chiaroscuro lighting, elaborate set design, and expressive camera work imbues the film with a sense of atmospheric depth and visual richness, creating a cinematic experience that is both immersive and emotionally resonant. The film's use of symbolism and allegory further enhances its impact, as the treasure of Sir Arne becomes a potent symbol of greed, betrayal, and the destructive power of human desire. And the ending, with a classic scene of a funeral in a frozen sea, is breathtaking and unforgettable. Moritz Stiller was much more than just the man who discovered Greta Garbo. He was a truly great director, and proved so with every frame of this motion picture. Sir Arnie's treasure also holds historical significance as one of the earliest examples of Swedish cinema to achieve international acclaim. Released during a time of cultural renaissance in Sweden, the film played a crucial role in establishing the country as a major hub of cinematic innovation and creativity. Its success paved the way for the emergence of iconic Swedish filmmakers such as Ingmar Bergman in the 1940s, for instance. Bergham himself would always state how important it was for him to learn from great masters like Stiller and his contemporary friend and rival. Victor Sherostrom, and both would go on to live and work in Hollywood. Tragically, though, Stiller wouldn't get the same success in America that Sherostrom had, and would die less than a decade after directing Sir Arnie's Treasure. Another vital aspect of the Swedish cinema of this era is the cinematography. Julius Jensen was a legend in his field of action and majorly enhances this film with his expertise. Gunnar Fischer, who later would do some great works with Ingmar Bergham himself, was his assistant already and would greatly learn from this master and by doing so would maintain Sweden's high level of cinematography throughout the years. In closing, Sir Arnie's Treasure stands as a timeless masterpiece of Swedish cinema that should be more well-known, even amongst cinephiles, since it still has the ability to resonate with audiences around the world. With its stunning visuals, compelling performances, and powerful storytelling, the film remains a testament to the enduring power of the silent film era and a shining example of the artistry and craftsmanship of Moritz Stiller, Mary Janssen, and the entire creative team behind this cinematic gem. This was an analysis from Deeper Cinema. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much and we hope this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship.